We're going to talk about those three things. Um, we're going to start with the keep on growing, uh, the gardening, and the little microgreens we were talking about. Let me pop that up real quick. Get to a different scene. All right. So some of you guys, you know, like I said, the microgreen is an integral part of what we do. Um, if you want to do the continuous harvest system like us, where you do it over and over and over again, you can definitely keep going out and buying transplants and putting them in there or growing your own transplants. But with the microgreens, it just makes it easy because we, we grow them seven to 10 days, up to two, three weeks, you can keep them. And then we take them and put them into the downspouts and just leave them for like a month. We don't do anything. And you guys know regular garden is not like that, right? You've got to plant it. You've got to be out there watering, weeding, tilling, composting, just all, all the stuff that goes with it, right? This, we plant them in and we leave them for a month. So if you learn how to do, do the microgreens, you can take them and, and save yourself, you know, at least a month's worth of work, right? When you're growing your little transplants, so even if you grow them from seed, you're still taking care of them every single day up until you transplant them, right? So this is you sprout your microgreens, put them in here and just leave it. So we're at least saving you a month. So that's why we like using the microgreens. And like I said, I did the pool noodle because um, I was trying to figure out something that was economical. One thing is when we first started 10, 12 years ago, me and my wife, uh, I was experimenting with this. We were on the road all the time and I wanted to grow and I, I didn't have any luck with the traditional garden and I wanted to get into hydroponics. It just like just fascinated me. Um, so we we bought all the different things and everything and we tried things out, but it was eat, eating into my pocket. Um, and then I had an interaction with someone and and they got me going on this thing where I wanted to make things cheap and easy so that everyone can do it and not, not just anybody who could afford all the hydroponic stuff and, or somebody that had a big yard or anything. And I, I wanted to try to do it as, as affordable and as easy as possible because I want everybody to learn how to grow their own food. So the pool noodles came in handy because at that time, the Dollar Tree before there were the Dollar 25 tree, right? When they were the Dollar Tree, it was a dollar and I was getting 50 of them. Sometimes if I cut them smaller, I was getting up to 70. You know, I could stretch it, uh, inserts or collars, whatever you want to call it, out of each pool noodle. So even at a dollar 25, it's still economical, right? So that's why I use it. But there's no one way. Um, it's just like the downspouts are plastic. Some people don't like growing in plastic. So we grow in uh, uh, milk cartons, uh, glass containers. I built stuff out of um, uh, marble and travertine, you know, we try different things so that there's not one size fits all. We, we want everybody to do this and we're not all the same. We all do different things. We live in different environments, right? So we always experiment and, and we want everyone to be growing their own food. So, so we try different things. Now, when I first started, I started with rock wool. And one of my first videos was why I don't use rock wool. But if you're having trouble with the roots and pulling them out and pulling your little microgreens out, you can still use rock wool. You can see, right, the uh, roots are on there and you separate it without damaging the roots. You just separate your cubes so you can grow them. I got them in these ramen trays and I just sprouted them in there, you know, seven, 10 days, just like your microgreens. And then I still use a pool noodle, but the hole's a little small, right? So I just got my little torch that we use for cooking. You're gonna see that a lot, right? But I just go over real quick, it only takes like a, a second on each one to open up the hole a little bit. Um, you can do this with a heat gun. You can just take a scissors and cut the middle out a little, but you can see I just did like over a dozen of them there in a couple of seconds, right? And it's not pretty, right? They look a little gnarly, but it doesn't have to be because it's going to squish around the rock wool and it's just there to hold it. Now you can use net cups, right? You can see the downspouts. I've got two inch holes on there because I used to use net cups. And and I always drill a two inch hole just in case I want to use it. And if you guys were around a couple of weeks ago, you saw, uh, or a couple of months, I think, I, I did grow some with rock wool just like this. And I also use the rapid rooter, the, the um, eco plugs. And you can get net cups and put them in there. And I grew some like that just so I could show people like so, so you have different options. I personally don't like net cups. I like them. They work well. Um, you can certainly use them. But when I did that video a couple of months ago, we harvested and I had a bunch of downspouts with them in it, right? We harvested and then I had to go through and clean them all and 
and get all the roots off and scrub them and clean them and sanitize them. And, and then I found out why I stopped using net cups. It's I, if you want to spend a little, a couple of hours and do that, you can do it. But any time I can save it's time that I can do something else and sitting out there trying to pull all the roots off net cups was not my cup of tea. So if you want to do that and you like it, it works fine. Also the little Dixie cups, you can take those cut little slits in them. I used to cut the bottom right off of them and you can use the Dixie cup and that kind of works like a net cup and just toss those out. You can get those, you know, really cheap too. Three ounce Dixie cups fit a two inch hole, but that's why the holes are two inches. And if you are not planning on using a net cup, you can always drill the hole a little bit bigger in the, so that the, um, uh, pool noodle fits right in there. You don't have to mess with it. But because mine are two inches, the pool noodle is a little bit bigger. We just are going to do just the same thing where I cut a little wedge out. Um, we use the same master blend I use for everything. Um, we'll talk about that in other videos. But this is where I just take the pool noodle, cut a little wedge out, just like we do, you know, with the other one. And we just have a little bigger hole in the middle. And now you can just take the rock wool and it fits right inside of there. Nice and easy. And then this squeezes right into the two inch hole, repeat over and over and over again. And, and you've got your uh, uh, microgreen growing. And then you leave this going. And a couple of weeks later, you start another one. A couple of weeks later, you can start another one. If you've always got microgreens, when you harvest one, clean a couple out like this, get it going over again. We've got like three different uh, stages of pak choy going right now. A couple stages of, of uh, different kind of collards and, and kale. So, this is easy. It's a simple way. Like I said, if you're having problems pulling out the roots and tearing them up or putting them in the pool noodle and squeezing them too hard, this is a lot easier. You know, you can still squeeze it a little hard, but you're not really like apt to do that because the rock wool, you're not supposed to really squish anyway. If you've used it, you know, you're just supposed to take it and like set it in a net cup. So you don't really want to squash it. But this I find is a whole lot easier than trying to pull out the microgreens, I don't usually do it like this, but if you guys are having problems, like I said, I don't want you to get frustrated. I don't want you to quit. I want you to grow your own food. This is another option, and this makes it easy for a lot of you out there. And I just plant them all out. And if you notice these downspouts, I've got a bunch of different ones. The, the ends, this one's like got the resin on it. We've got our other uh, PVC end cap. Somebody printed me up a 3D one. Um reflective on the clear ones i put a little reflective tape to keep the light out i do different experiments but the top i keep is all the same it's all um all kale and it's all grown the same way all the same nutrients and then that way if something goes wrong with a downspout or two or something i look and see what the differences are and i do i do this with a lot of things and i think that some of you out there can have fun doing things like this too i'll take a couple of these i have left and I'll stick a couple in a milk jug and I'll stick a couple in um, a coffee jar or whatever, have or another cracky container. And I'll, I'll do a couple around here and there just to see the different ways. And maybe one grows better than the other one or, or I'll have these all in the same light. And I'll, I'll put a couple over in a different spot or, you know, just change things up a little bit. But not everything. I want to have like different plants and all, all the different holes and, and things in different places. I, I try to keep them uniform and change up a couple of things. And I keep doing these experiments over and over. And, and that's how I kind of develop my system that works for me where I live. And you guys might have to do the same thing. Just have fun. It's fun experimenting. And then you might see something grow like twice as good as all the other stuff. And you're like, that's the way to do it. So th this is cool. Um, like I said, if you guys are having a problem with it, go ahead and give that a try because you've got to get this understanding down. Get this, the microgreens where you can take them, you can plant them, and just keep the system going over and over and over again. And after you do, if you stop, you're going to miss it. And you'll be like, yeah, i got to go plant some microgreens out. But, the, but this is the way to go. All right. All right. All right, next thing, let's get on to something else. That That's the um, garden part. I've got a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm working on something that's going to help everybody with the heat. And I know right now some of you guys are in uh, snowstorms and blizzards, and you don't want to hear about the heat in the garden. And uh, you want the heat where you're living right now, right? So, But when we, we get to gardening, when spring comes around, especially summer, some of you guys have lots of problems. 
Um, we're going to come up with a solution for that. So we're experimenting with it, a lot of things. And that's one thing uh, that's good that we live down here in Florida is that I can work on, you know, things like this throughout the year. And I can share it with you and then you guys can get ready for the summer. So I'm going to start sharing that with you in, within the next couple of weeks or next couple of months. And, and hopefully we're going to uh, figure something out that's going to help a lot more people too. Alrighty. Now, next thing is HelloFresh. Like I said, uh, not the whole recipes. I'm going to play a couple little clips, kind of give you an idea of what the meals look like, how easy they are to prepare. And, and for the most part, we liked every one of them. I think there was one that I really didn't care for, but it, it wasn't the recipe itself. I'll, I'll tell you about that. Um, and then we're going to jump into my account and I'm going to show you guys how to order it if you're uh, wondering about that. So that's kind of interesting. Like I said, if I could have seen this before I started, would have been really helpful. So let me pull that up. When I'm getting this, you guys, uh, down in the, the comments, we're going to be doing some live streams. I just got to get Keely another microphone, another webcam in that and get set up. But in a couple of weeks or a month or something, I'm going to get Keely in here too. And we're going to be doing live streams. And I like morning shows. We're used to doing this at night. Tell me, I live on the, the East Coast. It, it's uh, uh, EST. Um, let me know if you guys like seeing live streams more at night or in the morning. Because I'm not opposed to waking up in the morning. I love getting up in the morning, getting people excited and say, hey, let's get out there and go do something. And um, But I'm on the East Coast. So my morning is like on the West Coast will be 5 o'clock in the morning and nobody wants to hear my voice at 5 a.m. in the morning, right? So um, let me know when is a good time, morning or night or, you know, what have you, which one which one actually works better for you. And let's go to HelloFresh. All right, so here's one of the recipes. It's uh, big balsamic pork and really all of prep was cutting up some of the root vegetables, potatoes, carrots, uh, I think there was a shallot, shallot, and a uh, little sage was the herb. And basically, that was a prep, then it all comes into cooking. Now, one thing I do like about HelloFresh, um, if you're single or you're busy and you don't want to spend a whole lot of time shopping or stocking up your pantry, uh, this made it really easy because everything comes pre-portioned. You need your own salt and pepper, oil and butter. Other than that, everything comes packed in a package. So, like this is the pork. Um, you get it ready. All you had to do is cut up the vegetables. Very minimal ingredients. Just putting a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of uh, thyme or the sage on the vegetables. You're supposed to toss it in the oven, but we're cooking outside. And then the pork, we just seared the pork, toss that over there. And, and while it's cooking, we made a little sauce. And this just had shallots, uh, balsamic vinegar, a uh, little fig jam, and then uh, at the end you cut the heat off, put the butter in, let that melt, and you've got your sauce. Came out pretty good. And like I said, if you you don't want to go to the store and say, oh, I feel like making this, but I'm going to go, I need garlic, I need potatoes, I need this, that, and everything. And then you buy fig jam, and then when you're done, you're like, what I use the rest of fig jam for? Um, this makes it really easy. This makes it really simple. Oh, it was uh, thyme, not a uh, um, sage. But... That, that one was pretty good, and the sauce I would make and actually put it on other things. So you learn how to make these simple sauces in that, too. This other one we got was uh, butternut squash. It said ag agnolotti. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but um, uh, ravioli. And pretty much the kale, you know, you just had to take some of the bigger parts off, but it had the same thing, a couple of shallots and a couple of herbs. I think this is the one that had the sage. And that was it for the prep, but like I said, it's, it's easy because everything comes portioned. Um, you're not spending a whole lot of time shopping. You know, you just order it, comes to your door. Uh, this one, you just all you had to do is uh, prepare the kale, move that, leave your dirty pan, start boiling your pasta, and then you toss in, I think there was walnuts, the sage. You brown your butter, so you get a brown butter sauce. You toss the pasta back inside, and I think you add the kale back. You put a little bit of... Uh, the uh, pasta water back in it and some garlic herb butter that they had. And pretty much that's it. And then you just kind of toss it around. You don't want to, you know, mess them up. It's just basic cooking in that. But this one was actually good. The, the, the butternut squash ravioli itself tasted excellent. Keely liked it. She actually made me go out and buy more 
you know, another name brand, whatever the store had butternut squash at the store, uh, ravioli so that she can make more of this. She liked it so much that so we went and got some more of that. And now all we have to do is, you know, cook up some kale, which we have in the garden and we got walnuts. So we can just repeat this recipe, which is, that's the one cool thing is you might learn different recipes and, and an easy way to fix them. And then you can repeat them yourself afterwards. So each one comes with these look crunch, um, Dijon salmon. They come with these recipe cards. It tells you what to get, what you need. It says bust out. You need a pot, a pan, a strainer. It tells you all the ingredients, you know, what to collect and get ready. And then it's got step by step. So each one has this. When you're done, you just keep this, right? And then if you want to make it yourself again, it's, it's got everything on there. Now, if you lose these, you can always go on a website and they've got these, whatever you ordered, there'd be a button to click where you can go ahead and they'll give you um, directions on how to cook it. So we're going to do that too. This one wasn't that difficult to make because the only thing you had to do was zest the lemon, quarter it, and then like see what, so what you said, chop up the cheese a little because it's shredded, chop it up a little, mix the French fried onions in it. And then the salmon, you put a little garlic powder, uh, mustard is coming next. Now, this mustard, they give you, like I said, it's pre-portioned. They give you just enough for that. You put it on those. You don't waste anything. And um, I just spread it with my fingers because I've, if I use a, a brush, I feel like the brush takes a lot of it up. And then you just put that mixture on it, toss it in the oven, 425 for a little while, cook some pasta, toss in your broccoli, let that cook a little bit. And then you take your pasta water and, and they give you everything you need. This one was a little bit of cream cheese and a little roux and you just toss everything back in and it's got like our butter too or something and, and lemon zest and the pasta was actually good i like the pasta i ate most of the pasta keely liked the salmon i didn't care for the cheese and the seafood the cheese and the fish going together that much um but we did order for next week the same topping it goes on chicken too so we're going to try it on chicken um i wanted to show you this one is a steak it's creamy cilantro steak and this is more of a premium one. When we go jump in the count, I'm going to show you that they've got all regular orders. Like all of those other ones were just normal orders. Then they've got premium ones that actually cost more. So if you accidentally click on those, it's going to charge you a little more. But I want to show you those. And this was one of them. And a lot of fresh ingredients. Onion, peppers, jalapenos, uh, lime, cilantro. You know, just real fresh ingredients. And there's a little sour cream sauce that we made up. All those onions aren't part of HelloFresh. The peppers and onions and steak on the side are HelloFresh. Keely, when we fire up the griddle, we like to cook. And Keely's like, I want some sautéed onions more than what came in this. I was like, well, bring it out. I'll cook it because it's, you know, it's fun. I was like a line cook and just toss them on there. You feel like you're at the carnival cooking, right? But it was really simple. You Peppers and onions. Uh, you made this little sauce to go on there. You cook your steak. Um... The sauce was just all the fresh ingredients with a little sour cream. You put it on there, a little of the zest, fresh jalapenos. And I like this one. I think it was well worth the little bit of extra that you pay for it. So that one's pretty good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to jump into the count. I'm going to show you what happens when you sign up for it. And all of us, it's going to be a little bit different starting because we used to uh, be in HelloFresh a year ago. And they had a comeback offer. And, you know, hey, come back and you can save $180 or whatever. And they're going to have like introductory offers. Like if you try it for the first time, it'd be like, you know, half price or I don't know what the, the offers are, but it's not going to be all at once. Like it said, save $180. But when we got on, it's like, yeah, you save uh, $30 the first week and $20 and $20 and $10 the next week, the next week. And it, and it's spread over time. So it's not like right up front. OK, so everything's going to be a little different. So check them out. I'll tell you about ours. Um, the first one was about 30, 30 dollars. And then they're shipping. The first one, the shipping was waived. The second and third ones, it started going up to about 50 dollars. I think it can get up to without any discounts on it was like 70 dollars. And then there's nine ninety nine for shipping. Um, but if you're thinking about ten dollars meal, if you go out to eat at a restaurant, anything that, like that steak dish that you went and got, it's going to cost at least $10. It might cost more than that, right? So it's comparable to eating out. Sipping my coffee. So here, here's the count. 
Now, when you click on, you see at the top says Saturday, December 17th. That's tomorrow when y'all are probably watching this. It might have been a day ago. But this was, is our next shipment, right? Now, they pick out. If you don't do anything, they'll ship you whatever they want. So you have to go in and check if you like it or not. And if you don't, you can change them. So if you don't do anything like us, um, this one... I think Keely already went through because this is the one we have we have to get done. So Keely's already went through, but it's got uh, brown sugar, bourbon pork chops, uh, chicken sausage and, and kale, and uh, Monterey Jack burgers, right? Now, we picked three meals this week. So there's three three that are chosen. If you don't like those, if you went in here, all you have to do is go down here, see it's plus and minus, is just subtract it. I'm not going to subtract it because Keela already picked this. We, we can do that on another week. I'll show you how to do that. All you do is subtract it. Then you go down below. You see all these recipes, right? So these are the things that you can go ahead and pick out. Like that one says sold out. So you got to get in here and check because they only have a limited supply of the different recipes every week. Um, if you're thinking like you like uh, this salmon, walnut crusted salmon, and you, you're just going to order it every week. They don't do that. They don't always have it. So you've got to come in here and check what's available. Um, if you go down below it, you can do stuff like they've got add creamy tomato soup, $5.99. So you got to watch that if you want to add something on. Here's add sweet kale salad, $2.99. So there's add-ons, so you got to watch. But some things like this is swap your side. Jasmine rice. I think I click on there. And you can switch to cauliflower rice but it's an extra dollar 29 a serving. So you're going to have to watch all that. So there's, there's add-ons and everything. Um, so you just go through here and all of these that don't have a price, that's just the regular price. You can swap them out with the three that are already chosen. So I can take that one off one of the, the burger or something off the top and I can add extra meal, but this will just say add meal. It won't say add extra. It's because I got my three chosen already is why it's saying extra. So you can always add on day four, day five, day six. You can add on extra meals. It's just going to charge you for each one. Um, so you come down here and you check and then you you go ahead and add it. Now, these are all the ones like these. These are all swapped with the ones that you get with no extra charge. It's just going to be whatever the cost is like ours with our discount this week is 50 bucks. Right. If I switch one of these out, it's still going to be $50. But if you go down here and you can see there's a whole lot of different recipes. Um, if you come down here, see this one says premium pick. That's what you got to watch for too. If you add extra meal, that one's $8.99 a serving. So I think the regular serving is like four something. Uh, so they'll charge you an extra $5 a piece. So if you've got two people, it's going to be 10. You've got to figure all this out. So you can choose two servings or four servings. And you can, you can choose two, three, or four meals a week. So all of that is going to you know account for different prices. But if you come down here and you see premium picks or you say, oh, that looks good, and you add that, it's going to add on to the cost. So you got to watch out for that. So you've got all these different things to look for, right? Here's breakfast tacos, uh, grilled cheese, pasta primavera, surf and turf. You know, that's an extra $9.99. You know, you can add like 20 bucks onto your... Um, price there uh fajitas meatloaf so there's a, a big variety of things to choose from and i just we're going to keep going down past these because they're going to show you other things so these are your meals once you pick like we've got three meals we pick those three meals we're done right but you can also say well maybe besides those three meals i want a snack or i want a lunch or something not a whole meal you can come down here and check other things that they've got in the hello fresh market so you see they got festive eats, date night done right, quick homeschool lunch, homemade lunch, home cooked lunch, uh, pick your portion lunch. So small lunches, right? Kits, the burrito bar, sandwiches and more, easy entertaining. And you just go through, there's soups, sides, breakfast, bakery. It's all kinds of stuff in here. So I clicked on easy entertaining and then you've got things in here you can show, you know, black truffle spinach, you know, $19.99. It gives you a price. Uh, two servings of uh, crostini, ricotta and hot honey, $3.99. Uh, Mexican street corn dip, $7.99. So there's different things. Here's flatbreads. Then they're always going to give you, you know, other things. Hey, did you want soup? You know, you get out on soup to it. They've got a bunch of different soups. And sides and compliments, bread. 
if you need extra potatoes, extra, you know, what have you. So all kinds of stuff. Here's breakfast. And that's all like the one week, right? That's the 17th, the one that's coming up. Let's see. Let me get back to the, get back to the top. All right. 17th. Then like ours is coming on Saturday. You pick your day. Uh, they've got a couple different delivery days. We picked Saturday because we figured we'd probably be home Saturday. Um, and then, so that Monday before is our cutoff date. We have to come in here and, and make sure we like those meals or they'll just send us something. Right. And you can go in and choose like next week. Saturday, the 24th. And they've got these already picked out for us. Right? So if I don't do anything, this is what's going to come. Pork tenderloin, burrito bowl, chicken with garlic sauce. Right? And then, of course, there's all the different things. So I can go through and check those. And you've got, you know, you can go weeks ahead of time and get everything set up at once and just pick all your meals. You don't have to come in like every Monday and get your meals picked out. So I think that's cool. All right. Let me pop back out of here. All right. So that's HelloFresh. That's like a preliminary thing, like I said, in our community. Uh, if you go over there, we're going to be uploading the recipes over there uh, when we actually cook them out and prepping them. Uh, everything tasted pretty good. We like it. And like I said, we might try some different ones, but we're going to at least do a couple weeks of HelloFresh. And um, that's just one thing as far as the cooking. That's not going to be all the cooking that we do in the community. Um, we're going to be doing lots of stuff. Me and Keely have catered before. We've done all kinds of things. We've got loads of stuff to share with y'all. This is just one thing. We figured we'd order it, give it a try because they had a Black Friday sale. Just like all of you jumped on the Black Friday sale here. Uh, the community, there's going to be videos going up over there. Go check out. If, if you go into Thinkific and you're in the right course, the one that says downloadable content, home and garden, uh, we're going to be uploading stuff there. And we have a community over there. It's just like on Facebook or um, uh, just, I don't know what other social platform, but kind of like Twitter or Facebook where you, where you can post. We, we post whenever we drop a new video over there. You guys can post. You can share stuff. Um, if you're growing, if you have questions, there's going to be a section where you can ask questions and people can answer. Um, so we're getting all that built out. We're really excited about it. It's, it's, it's very cool. I didn't even know I had all that stuff available until I started setting everything up. So we're going through right now. If you guys like got it on the Black Friday sale and you, you're like, oh, I don't see very much stuff going up over there. It's uh, we're working on it and stuff's getting in there. There's a whole bunch of videos up there already and stuff that you guys can take down and make your own and make money. And, and we talk about that on our other channel. We've got loads of stuff going. So uh, we're, we're going to be sharing stuff with you guys. And, and hopefully after the holidays and we get caught up and, and get everything set up, we're going to be coming out more than once a week and, and uh, especially in that community over there, we're going to be putting loads of stuff out over there. All right. And the last thing we're going to talk about is uh, something Achilles getting set up right now. I'm excited about this because it's like me. I've got my little set, you know, steampunk and everything. She's got her little corner over there where she's going to be showing you guys how to do uh, different decorative finishes and, and faux finishes and, and murals and, and all kinds of stuff where you can like paint your kid's room and, and get your kid's rooms made up really cool. We, we've got so much to show you and, and she's going to be doing that in detail in the community, but we're going to be jumping on over here too and sharing stuff with you. Um, we do this, we, we, we like to paint stuff in our spare time for, for kids that, that we just give stuff out to. And, and we've done this for years and, uh, when lockdown happened, we couldn't go out anymore and we haven't done it in a few years. So, uh, this is what we've been doing. Uh, the, the gardening and everything and me learning how to do all of that was something that I did when we get, came home and it was like the spare time. And, uh, I was trying to learn how to garden. I want to grow my own food, but we were actually making a living doing, you know, creative stuff and, and painting murals and doing wall finishes and, and all of this stuff. And we want to share that with all of y'all. So uh, what Keely's got, let me go ahead and just put up a little video, give you all just a little hint of what's coming on. I just started, uh, Keely said, uh, I asked her to paint a Christmas mural and she said, well, I want a fireplace. It's okay, I'll make a stone one looks like uh, one of, in an old lodge, right? A big lodge. And But I didn't want to go get a bunch of stones, so I'm making some out of styrofoam and just heating it up the edges with a little uh, 
flamethrower. You're going to see a lot of that in the cooking, but I'm using it over here on this. And this is how we do a lot of things. We're going to teach you guys. You're going to be able to make something that looks really cool. And we're going to show you different techniques, how to do things. And if you notice in the back, it says uh, the craft paints are apple barrel. That's a really cheap thing. It's not like expensive acrylics and stuff. It's not artist things that you have to go get. Keeley's wall finishes. You're not going to have to go looking for expensive glaze and expensive faux finish tools and that. Um, she does it with ordinary household items. She's going to teach you guys how to make your rooms look fantastic. And this is just like one example. It's just something nice and easy. Uh, you don't have to be an artist. It's going to be something that when you're standing back, it looks cool in that, you know, and, and, and don't worry about somebody like getting up and looking at details because your whole room is going to be done, right? So we show you how to do different things. And this is me putting together a fireplace. And it's not a real fireplace. It's I actually hot glued a lot of these pieces together without screws and that so that I can take stuff back down and redo it. And, and we're going to, this thing's going to be ever evolving into something else. So this is basically a Christmas decoration. And Keely started painting. She was going to do like this winter wonderland. And she said she wanted a fireplace. I just wanted something on the walls, right? And once I put the fireplace together... And she stood there and looked at it. She said, it looks odd. It looks out of place. It looks like it's just floating. It's, it looks like it's sitting in the middle of a snowy field. And I was like, well, look, it's on a mural or whatever. She goes, it, it doesn't look right. We should do something else. And she said, what about a log cabin? I said, yeah, we painted log cabins before. Wouldn't that be cool if you had a kid's room and you can make the inside of the room look like it was a lodge? Or if you had like a game room or, or an entertainment room and you can make the inside look like a log cabin? Here's a, just a little section we're going to show you. Uh, like we said, Keeley's been doing this like years where it's something we go in. You know, if we had to do a lot of detail in that paint entire rooms, it would take us forever, right? So we had to learn how to get in there, give people an affordable price, give them something to look cool. And so we learned all these different techniques and, and Keeley developed a bunch of different ways of doing things. With You can see she's using a chip brush, right? Not a big expensive uh $40 paintbrush, a little $2 chip brush and some tape. And you can see how quick she, you know, can make something look like a log. And this one piece right here, four foot long, I'm going to show you a couple of clips. It's just going to be a couple seconds, but the actual time, and you'll see that in the community, we'll have the video up over there. Actually only took her three minutes to paint one of those. And you can see how she's putting it on with chip brush and blending stuff out. And we've already got the, it's called chinking in between of the um, logs on a log cabin. But uh, we already had that on and you pull it off. Looks cool. And then Keely lets me get up here. And this is where we put little details in because Keely will make it look round on, on the top and bottom with the shading and the highlight. But then the ends look flat, right? We're going to show you guys little tricks. You can see this isn't that hard. You can see me putting on. If I can do it, it's easy, right? And all we're doing is just rounding off the corners. And if you know where to draw the straight line and where to put the curved line, then you can take something that looks flat, right? That was took Keely no time to paint. And then you can make it look round. You can see it looks more 3D. We put a little edge. We're showing you how to do all this in the community and that. She's got it looking like a log cabin. We put little details in here and there. So we're excited about this because this is what Keely's going to get this set up. It's going to look cool. And uh, what she's going to do is actually put a table over there, like um, get set up and that'll be her backdrop. Just like this is my backdrop over here. She's going to have that set up. We're going to put a Christmas tree, stockings, and she's going to decorate it for Christmas. But then she's going to be doing some crafts over there too. And um, just think about this right here. If you guys see, let me put that back up for a minute. Imagine like this whole thing right there, right? That was your kid's room and the the logs, like the, the whole room, you got log cabins everywhere and you got real windows, but like a blank wall, you can paint a window, right? Now, suppose in a couple of months you go in, whatever the kids like you painted there and it was like woods and uh, trees and bears and stuff, right? And they wanted to change it. And instead of coming in and repainting their whole room, you come in, tape off that window and and paint something else like like a forest with fairies or a jungle or or space or whatever you want, right? It could be anything. It's, it's kids or it might be your entertainment room, but you can come in and tape off those windows and just redo that and have a whole different look. 
So there's all kinds of things to do. Uh, those are logs with the chinking in between. You can put them right up against each other and make them board so it looks like the inside of a clubhouse. We did that before where a room was like a clubhouse. We even painted it on the ceiling. Um, trees, like big branches and leaves. And we put a, a cutout and made it look like somebody was looking in. You know, one of the kids, Keely painted the kid, so it looked like he was on top of the clubhouse looking in. It's kind of hard to explain, but it was really cool. So there's just all kinds of stuff we've done over the years. And, and like we said, we haven't done it in a few years because of everything that's happened. Um, and, and we decided we're just going to retire and do this where we, we just share because the internet wasn't around. We didn't, you know, otherwise I'd have been shooting videos of everything. And we're just like, my God, all the stuff that we could have shared with people. And now we just figure instead of going out and, and getting started doing this again, we're just going to share with y'all. We're just going to recreate it. I, I can build things. I can build a whole room if I need to. And if we need more space, we'll go get a bigger space and, and do it. But we're going to show you guys things that we painted because when we did it in our client's house, it's kind of hard to share like some of the stuff. They have personal things around and their pictures and it's, it's kids rooms and things like that. This, when we do it, we can share everything with you. So this is going to be cool. We'll be able to do it, show you how to do it. And, and then we're going to paint over it. I hope people don't freak out. We're just going to paint over like Keely had a big octopus painted on my steampunk wall. And then we just paint it over it. We're going to do it over and over again uh, because we know if Keely ever wants it, she can always just paint it again. And, and that it's not that difficult. She, yes, she's an artist and she can actually get in here and get really detailed. But the things we're going to show you guys are things that you're going to be able to do too. Um, with minimal effort and just a little bit of persistence, a little practice, you're going to be able to make fantastic looking rooms. So this is cool. Like I said, uh, lots of that stuff's going to be in the community. I'm, we're going to come over here, home and garden. We're going to share a lot of that stuff with you, give you little tips like the, uh, you saw the, the wall with the, the brick fireplace, not brick, the stone, you know, how we did it with uh, styrofoam. Some of you guys are crafty enough. You see me doing it, styrofoam, attach it to paint. Y'all can do it. So that might be all you need. But the other people need more direction or, or step by step. That's over in the community. And right now, if you jump on over there. So there's a link down in the description. Uh, the Black Friday sale. If people entered BFS, and I'll put that on how to do it. It was Black Friday sale. They got it for $15, which is like mind blowing. Just discount. And lots of you got in on it. You guys, stuff's going up over there. We're building out the community. That's going to be cool. Uh, if you guys missed it right now, if people, there, it's $99, which is just fantastic. All the stuff we're going to teach you guys, $99 is like nothing. You know, we would teach that, charge that much for like an hour to go show somebody something. And you guys get like lifetime, whatever we put up in that community is for you to go over. You watch what you want to watch. You don't want to watch something. You don't have to watch it. You can watch two minutes or two hours. You don't have to worry about giving a thumbs up or subscribing or all that stuff that we do here. That's your community over there. You go over, you find what you like, you watch what you like. If you don't like it, you don't want to watch it. You don't have to. And, and it's all there just for you. Now, if you go on over, click on the link, you go use the coupon code KOG, keep on growing. You're going to get it for $29. If anybody just finds that and they just land on our landing page and they just buy it that way, it's $99 for the general public. But my buddies and everybody that's here on YouTube, you can still use KOG right now. Uh, I think I'll do this through Christmas and you get it for $29 and that's going to be lifetime. Once you're in, you're in for good. And anything we ever upload or redo or keep adding on over there, you get to see indefinitely. And if you like Keela showing you how to paint a log, and you need to go back for reference, it's still going to be there. And you can just keep going back in and watching how many times you want. Let me show you real quick how to do that. Some people had a little question about this. And all you have to do is if you go on over to think if it the link down in the description, you got to sign in with an email. And once you do, you pick the course that says $99 with downloadable content, home and garden. And from there, you click the buy 99 button, right? No worries, not 99 um, if you don't have a code and click right here, which says have a coupon and this little thing will come up. It's going to say BFS, but you're going to type in KOG cause that sales over the black Friday. And when you click apply, see it was $15. You're just going to say 29. So all you got to do is punch in KOG and, uh, your discount will come to 29 and then you can go ahead and check out PayPal, Stripe, whatever. 
you're going to be able to see all the stuff that Keeley's doing. You're going to learn a whole lot of things. And we're building a community over there. And like I said, it's going to be something like Facebook where you can post, where you can ask questions, um, where whenever I drop a video, I'm going to put a little announcement up over there. You'll see it. Uh, if you want to watch cooking, you go watch cooking. If you don't want to watch it, you don't want to watch it. If you just want to watch painting or the gardening or whatever, it's it's just there for you. It's like your your special place for 29 bucks. You get to get in and, and get all this information and maybe a little entertainment too. But we're excited about that because I can do so many different things that we really don't do here on YouTube. We'll be able to communicate with each other and, and be in one place. It's just going to be a fantastic little thing. So all this stuff, Keely's got lots to show you. I get, still got stuff with the gardening. I'm thinking of uh, different ways to um, deal with the heat. I know some of you guys are snowing and blizzards and stuff right now, and you don't want to hear about it, and you want some of the warmth, right? But um, us growing in Florida, I'm able to experiment a little bit during the winter. We don't have too many cold days, and that way I'll be able to figure something out get the information to you guys so that, you know, when spring starts, especially summer, lots of you out there just, you have a short growing season. You don't even think about growing um, during the summer. Maybe this will help you all out the, what I'm working on. And I'm going to be sharing that within the next couple of weeks and that too. So there's link in the description going over there. KOG 29 lifetime access. We'd love to see there building a big community. Lots of people there already. Um, if you guys are over there if you signed up for that course and when you click the sign in you don't see the community let me know email me at keep on growing one gmail.com and say hey put me in the community and i have to go and just manually click a button push it put put you in there so if, if you ordered it before i'd set up the community you might not be in it yet so just let me know i'm going through and trying to find everyone and, and put people in but there's hundreds of, of them to go through so if you're anxious to get in go ahead and just contact me and, and i'll make sure that i get you in, in there first so you guys i'm excited about all this i know I, I rambled on long enough and and the next shows won't be this long but i i could talk about each one of these different subjects for hours and I'm, I'm trying to keep it short for you, but we have so much to share with you. And it's going to be lots of fun. This is just the beginning. Um, Keely, her mind's just like going 100 miles an hour. She's like, oh, can I do this or can I do that? See, when we worked uh, years ago with clients, we would go up to a client's house like your house. And you say, I want a, a log cabin or something to look. And Keely would go and we didn't have the internet, right? We'd have to go to the library and find magazines and books and old log cabins and, and pictures. And she'd have to drop different things, different concepts and show them different things. And they would pick and Keely would have to paint what the customers would want. You know, can you put my kid in? Can you put our dog in it? You know, and she, and she would have to do what the customers want. And when they were painting, you know, Oh, that looks a little yellow to me. Could you do it a little more bluish or something or, you know, and, and Keely would have to change it up. Now, Keely asked me, what can I paint? I'm like, you can paint anything. You can do whatever you want. I said, as long as you're showing people and, and sharing it, I said, this is your time to be creative. And she's just like over the moon that she just gets to do what she wants. And, and that there's people who, who love to watch it. So we love all of you for being here and, and being our audience. This is just fun for her to be able to share with so many people, you know, 20 years ago, who could we share it with? You know, we'd have to take a picture and go pay to get a bunch of pictures developed and, and maybe show a couple of our other customers or friends or whatever. This now, somebody on the other side of the world can see what we're doing. It's just mind-blowing. So we're having fun. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Like I said, if we can do anything for you, let us know. I want all of you all in the community. It's, it's just going to be a, a, a fun time for everyone. And um, you guys... We have so much to be thankful for. We just went through Thanksgiving. Thank you for everyone, all our channel members who make this stuff possible. Thank you. Thank all of you guys for, for just watching. All of you have already become part of the, the um, community, hundreds of people over there. We love that. Thank you guys. And just, you know, everybody get out there and just do like you always do. Share it up. Lift, inspire, keep on growing. Be the change. Catch you next time.